in worship. And don't worry, guys, there will be more worship later, too, in case that wasn't enough for you. And yeah, I think it is a blessing that we have the opportunity and privilege to be able to gather together and to worship God, even if it's online, um, and that we're able to do that between all the generations in our church. And I think that's an amazing thing God has still allowed us to have through technology and that we can still cherish this time of fellowship and worship together even during this pandemic. And yeah, as we continue forward, we will be having additional um, reminders of truth. Um, as you know, with this Christmas season, Christ is the very reason. And I think that with this next Christmas song, which may or may not be traditional, um, you may know this man as one who has been blessed by God uh, with the ability to use his tongue in a way to spit rapid fire bars. And so you're gonna hear that right now. Let's all give it up for Moses Panda. Woo, put up those clap emojis. Okay, take it away, Moses, Panda. Thank you very much, uh, Rebecca, for that glowing introduction. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is uh, Moses Panda, otherwise known as Moss Panda. And uh, I will be performing a, uh, a traditional Christmas song for, I think some of you may know the lyrics. Um, for those who um, don't know a little bit about the references, the, the lyrics will be in green and the references to the psalm will be in red. So feel free to follow along and yeah, enjoy. Share my screen. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Now, 2020 feels like it's been a long, long time. We've had a few disruptions to our previous paradigm. We made it to December, my favorite time of year. Not because of gifts or gatherings, but for this story I'll share. <laughs> so God created humans who promptly started to sin. And God thought about how he could let us be together with him. Thus God came up with the only way to fix this mess with the plan. He would send his son to earth in the form of man. Let's go. Began with Adam, the original sin. Kicked out Eden with his kin. Then Noah and the flood came. And Abraham was told his offspring would reign. Persecuting Egypt. Moses said, let's go. David comes king and states, I got this, yo. But are the Messiah? Uh, heck no. The real star has yet to show. The rules come after aren't too good. Most do not fear God as they should. So this kingdom called Israel divides and then falls. Jewish exiles do return but spiritually saw. And earth still waiting for the promised day when the ultimate council would show the way. So that's the summary of Testament 1. Stay with me. It gets more fun. Let's move the clock to 0 BC to a husband with a wife in labor. With no place to stay, the lady ends up giving birth to a son in a manger. Filled with the world now he would be the one, the true goat, that be Jesus Christ, God's only son. If you don't know, now you know. Meanwhile, to shepherds in fields, angels would appear, and they would shout, do not fear, a savior is here. Glory to God in the highest. Peace be on whom his favor rests. That's why we get the nativity scene with shepherds and magi bowing to the world king. This is why we call the gospel the good news. Because no matter what occurs in life, it's relevant to you. For Christ's birth to be witnessed by those great and small means that God's salvation is freely offered to one and all. <clears throat> so if you didn't know before, I hope you can now see why we celebrate Christ's birth and what it means to me. No, 
Now that you know the origin story, let me give some application about what it means to be part of God's own nation. Don't throw away your shot, the Lord sees waving through the window. Some days you may be soaring or flying, some days you may be quite low. You may wish you were a rich man, or you may live on a solid rock. Look to Jesus, the ultimate comforter, throughout your spiritual walk. Thus this season truly is a very merry time Cause Jesus was born and would save us And would be the only man that's divine Truly be of good cheer to all those who can hear For the day of Christ's reign draws ever near This is why through all of life's trials I have assurance and hope even if it's hard to smile For Christ's birth to be saint to the heirs of the fall means that God's salvation is freely offered to all. Thank you. That was that was awesome, Moses. Uh, Everyone, give it up to Moe's Panda. Oh Moe's Panda.